Thunder Mountain Shelter. It is two minutes after seven and we are ready to walk. This has been a great morning for us. Uh, polar bear is still going up there and he's still sleeping around up there. But, uh, we got uh, Gavin trying to get warm in his shirt and Angel's tying her shoes. And we got the band of brothers back down in the end in the woods there, still camping out. But uh, we are headed 14 plus this morning to get into Glasgow and then on into uh, somewhere, Lexington, uh, Lexington, Virginia. So looking forward to a zero today. We're hoping we can get our uh, time in, our miles in as quickly as possible because I think our train is most absolutely certainly being going to be better than yesterday. Because, man, it was tough yesterday. We all struggled. This is a beautiful area. You can see the rhododendron are still blooming down here. And uh, it's just been a very pleasant place. We got here about 8.30 last night or 8.15, somewhere in there. Uh, ate a little bit and got straight to bed. Went straight to sleep and slept like a rock. The temperature dropped last night. It was really, really comfortable sleeping last night. That's the bad thing about in the evenings is you get hot temperatures and you sit there and you're, and you're sleeping stuff and you sweat. But boy, last night I, I got covered up and I fell right to sleep. I think we all did. So good night for sleeping and hopefully it'll be a good day for hiking. We're going to get out a little earlier today than normal. So we'll start off in cooler temperatures and that'll be a blessing. So we'll talk to you up the trail. How big is that rock? All righty, we are hiking through the woods today, go figure. And we just came upon this overlook. Holy cow. I'm not even sure this one deserves words. The weather is awesome. We've got a nice breeze cooling us down. You can see down into the valleys and the farmlands below. Uh, it's just been a great day. I talked to, uh, to Beth and also to a good friend of mine and uh, Giving, uh, giving her my blessings and prayers and let her know that I've been thinking about her and her husband. And, uh, boy, I wish they could be up here to see this. This is just phenomenal. It looks like there's a rock face on that mountain right over there. It's hard to tell from here because the sun's sort of in my eyes. But if you look right out here, it looks like there's some sort of a rock face right there. This is absolutely awesome. And this is why we're doing this trip is to see stuff like this on pretty much daily or every other day basis. Wow. We're entering, entering the James Face, uh, James River Face Wilderness right now, heading up the trail. We're doing uh, not quite 15 today into Glasgow, Virginia. And uh, so far the trail has been much more to our liking than yesterday's, for sure. We are uh, going up right now, but this is a short up and it's gentle. Yesterday the ups were long and sustained. They weren't too, too steep, most of them, but we climbed over 5,500 feet yesterday. And that's the most climbing we've done on a day. And I can't remember when. We were all beat when we got to the shelter last night. We all have on new shoes. Well, three fourths of us have on new shoes. So we're nursing sore feet. Angel's rocking the Tevas this morning because her new shoes are too small. And she's got blisters on top of her blisters. But we're plowing on and we're keeping a positive attitude and looking forward to being in a bed tonight. We'll talk to you up the trail. Well, this was a uh, high cock knob and we were up there this morning. We came down and we got water and now thankfully we're on a flat and level trail for a little ways. So we're thankful for that. But it's nice to be up there, but it's nice to be down here too. And we are headed on into uh, into Glasgow. We'll check in here in a little bit. We still got our same marching order. Gavin's way out front. He's hiking well today. And then we got Bullfrog and Angel and then me. And we talked and chatted and laughed and it's really nice to have everybody back together and uh, share some laughter and some funny moments. We just had our lunch and we're gonna try to get to town as quickly as we can. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, I'm pausing for the wow factor. We got a nice little view off to the side of the trail over here right now. Good views of the mountains. And uh, we were going up on top of that or not. I know we've got one little climb at some point when our trail stops being level, but I don't think it's quite that high. 
but maybe we'll gradually get up to it. Who knows? But uh, we're having another great day of hiking. Although, I wouldn't mind being out of the sun. It's kind of hot out here today. It's probably in the 90s. It's not quite as sweaty as I was yesterday. But I don't think I'm exerting myself nearly so much as I was going up hills yesterday. But we're heading on up the road and we'll stop when there's another view. Well, this is the trail family taking a rest. We're down here beside of a really nice little water source. If you can see the uh, the water flowing through there in the sunlight. Well, here's Angel kicked back, giggling at me because I came across that pier. And then I had to lower the camera because she's uh, vertically challenged, shall we say. Yeah. But she's a good mama to us. She helps us out. We love her. And this is the stream going up, so I guess by default, this is the mountain stream of the day on the video. So keep on watching with us here. We're going to head about four more miles into town. And then we're all going to be kind of laid back like Angel and Bullfrog are. So we'll talk to you soon. Well, it's probably been there and I haven't paid attention to it, but that's my first view of the James River down there. We're going to be crossing over that just before we get into town today. And uh, we're kind of a ways up and about three miles out makes me think, man, we are going to go downhill in a hurry at some point. And that's going to hurt the knees, but uh, we'll be able to perhaps soak them in the hotel swimming pool this evening. We'll see what happens. That should make everything feel better. Anyway, on up the trail. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, crap. So was the one that you just, the one that just swam upstream? Oh, it was a water snake. Okay, we're trying to identify some snakes here. Angel's going to go across. Uh, I'm not really sure that she's keen on us talking snakes. No, it was the one, I think you must have scared this one off the rock up here. Because I saw one swimming, but let me video that one. Okay. Well, that does rather look copperheadish. Yes. We think that it's just a water snake of some kind. We'll take a good close picture and see here in a little bit, but who knows. But I'm going to cross this thing. Ooh, that was fast. And there's Angel's leg. Sorry about that. Okay. Head's wrong and body's wrong. All right. I'm still going to cross. And then there was that one that came over there. Yep. There wasn't number three? No, there was not. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to do some looking. But I'm um, kind of with Bullfrog. It doesn't look like it's got a pointy head, but I'm not willing to go down there and interview it and find out for sure. But we do have a really nice stream right here. Good thing we have water, because I'm not going to fight the snakes for the water. We'll have to stop and check and see how far we are, but I think we're not terribly far from uh, where we're headed now. So this is... Uh, Shelter we're not going to stop at. And I'm sure there's a name on it. This one is dun, 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 Max Creek Shelter. There's the sign for it. And this is very typical of most AT shelters, except it's empty this time of the day, which is not very typical, but we are so close to town that I don't think anybody's stopping here. So anyway, on up the trail, and we'll talk to you soon. Well, we are... Finally, nearing the end of our day, we are uh, parallel in the James River right now. Kind of funny, Angel was just saying she knows she's not in Florida, but she can't help looking for alligator heads. And uh, Bullfrog said, well, if she sees any, let us both know. And I'm with her on that one. I don't think that's going to happen, but there's gators down there. I want to know about it, and I'm staying up here. All right, moving on down. We've got at least one more thing for you to see today. We'll get there shortly. And I'll talk to you soon. So I thought I'd show you these rocks right here. We're uh, right on the banks of, bank of the James River looking for our bridge crossing. It's not far. We just saw it just to the left over there where the bridge is. And uh, 
Oh, this is just really kind of cool. Little campsite area here. And, and the footbridge. There's the sign for the footbridge. And we are going to it somewhere. Oh, and we did have to double back. Bless their hearts. We couldn't just go straight over to it. We had to walk past it and then turn around and go back. That's about right. Yeah, buddy. That's about right. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail. But we'll keep it right here till we get to the bridge. I'm going to secure my phone going over the bridge because I don't want to go swimming today. Or at least not in the river trying to find a phone in the mud. So, let's see. Somewhere right up here. We're going to be making an immediate right. And there's the river. There's a rail bridge going across over that way, you can see. Looks like a rail bridge anyway. I haven't seen it close up yet, but I think that's what it is. I think I'm beginning to see the uh, beginnings of our footpath bridge, the James River footbridge. Seems to me like I read or saw somewhere that the foot part of the bridge is not because it's a footbridge, although it is the longest footbridge on the AT the longest pedestrian bridge, but it was actually named after someone whose last name was Foot. I'll have to look that up and see if I can find that reference again. We got some guys up here. There's Hawkeye. Okay, camping and campfires are prohibited for the next one mile. We're not going backwards, that's for sure. So that does not apply to us. But, uh, yep, this is the James River Foot Bridge. And this guy's getting ready to do a backflip, so I'm going to certainly record that. Wait, wait, my dad's going to film that. All right, okay. here we go. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Yeah, I'm too old for that. Uh, looks good to me. I'm way too old for that. All right. So let's see what the sign says about the James River Foot Bridge. I'm going to slide the towel just for a sec. Dedicated to the memory of William T. Foot. I was right. A tireless trail worker and enthusiast whose vision, persistence, and efforts made this bridge a reality. So thanks to these guys and uh, we're going to cross this bridge here. I'm going to get up to the top, but I'm going to put my phone away before I walk across probably. We'll see. I'll see, look and see what it looks like up here. I just don't want to take the risk of uh, fumbling here. Yeah, we can we can walk this one. You guys have a good. One. Wow, this is a long bridge, isn't it? Across the James River, and we've come from up here. Uh, I guess to get out of town, we're probably going up there too. I'd rather not, but that's a day or two or three away, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to walk across. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a rail bridge over there. And uh, yeah, they will find you for jumping off this bridge, I've heard. Guess there's nobody here today to do that. Maybe they're just waiting for those guys to swim out. And they're hiding back in the woods, who knows. But uh, we are very, very close to where we're going. And that'll be nice. It has been a long day of walking, nearly 15 miles today. And uh, I'm kind of tired of walking. But the views from here are really nice. Stop and look for a little bit. Got some pretty nice spider webs. I don't know if you can see them or not right up there. Probably not, but they're nice. And uh, well, lots of folks over there underneath that bridge fishing and chilling, I guess. Anyway, we're heading this way and I'll talk to you soon if we're about to be done with our, with our walk-in for today. Well, we're sitting here right by the bridge waiting on our ride into town. Bullfrog's uh, dad's coming in and we've got a train coming, so I'm going to video a little bit of the train here. CSX. Man, that's a cold train. Not John Coltrane, but just a Coltrane. Yeah, that was funny, you know it was. All right, I think this is gonna be a whole lot of the same thing. 
but I did want to get the engines coming into us. We'll talk to you soon.